There has been always a debate whether obsidian graph is useful. Some people may use it only to brag about their notes. Some people use it to their advantages. I believe the true power of obsidian is in that you can connect your notes and explore through them easily. And graph plays a huge role to exploration and discovery of your notes. Let me explain a few important information that will be useful for you to understand better graph before diving into use cases. The first thing is turns. You will find these terms often while consuming content in personal knowledge management realm. This file will be most referenced ones from my experience. Graph is a network of interconnected nodes in Obsidian. Nodes are individual nodes in the graph. Each node is represented as node. Edges represent the connections between the nodes in the graph. Orphan means a node is created but never referenced, while empty node means a node that was never created. And let's see what Glover and local graph offers to us. Glover graph provides a broader perspective on nodes in your vault. It shows all the nodes and connections between nodes. You can also see the tags, attachments, and orphan or existing nodes. On the other hand, local graph focuses on a specific node and surrounding connections. So you can use them based on your own use cases. Whether it's a Glover or local graph view, you can use these features. The first thing is filters. You can filter your nodes based on path, tag, or content. Or you can also group nodes with different colors so that you can have better visual for your notes. And depth is only, which is only applied to local graph, but very important to dig out further connections that you may never consider. You may wonder, what are the benefits of using graph? And I found following things. The first thing is you can get the general sense of notes. The graph gives a general sense of notes. For example, you have too many orphan notes. That means you created a lot of notes but never referenced them in your vault. The second thing is you can find your MOC candidates easily. MOC, which is called Map of Content, essential, essentially method to organize your cluster of notes related to a certain topic. You may have wasted your time if you tried to set up MOC for every single topic as we may only take a couple notes about a topic and we're done. You can use the graph to find the candidates for MOC and you will notice a certain cluster will become bigger if you keep taking notes about it. Observe your growing notes first and you can make a decision whether you want to promote a certain cluster to MOC. The last one is you can find new ideas. The interconnected nature of the graph allows you to see relationships and connections between nodes that you may have not considered before. Obsidian allows you to explore these connections with different depths. You can follow links between nodes, navigate through related concepts, and dive deeper into specific areas if you want. This non-linear approach to note-taking can spark new connections and facilitate holistic thinking, which I feel leading to new ideas and insights. I notice a lot of people only focus on local graph view for notes, yet I still see great value in the Glover graph. So uh, I will give you a few use cases you can apply today. All right, let's look at the Glover graph view. Like I said, you can filter your notes 
based on pass, file, tags, or content. And let's say I want to find out notes that are in template folder, then I need to type template and Obsidian will show these four notes that I use daily. But what if I want to exclude these files? You simply put dash in front of it and Obsidian will show the result except for the template notes. Similarly, you can narrow down your notes based on tag. Let's say engineering and Obsidian will show all the notes that contain engineering tag. What if I want to exclude these notes? I simply need to put dash in front of it and Obsidian will show all the notes except for engineering notes. And let me clear this one. And you can also toggle on and off tags, attachment, an existing file, and orphans. And as, as you can see, this outer circle means uh, you have orphan notes which were created before but you never reference them from other notes. So if I have a lot of orphan notes, I usually go back to those notes and try to find out where I can connect these notes to. Another thing is you can also find out next candidate for your map of content. I lately started writing a lot of uh, notes related to mental health. So I have this one. So in the near future, I will create a MOC note or a canvas for this mental note, mental health note. And if you are a visual person like me, you will also like groupings. So Obsidian will allow you to group uh, based on tag, pass, and keyword, and you can color. Uh, you can color these notes. So I have red color for engineering, and yellow color for PKM, and green color for mental health, and you can add more. Um, based on your preference. Since I don't use a lot of display and forces, I will skip it. But you can you can animate this one whenever you are bored. And the last thing before I jump to local graph view, you can actually save your configuration here, filters and uh, display with bookmark. So, I said like engineering. Then I can save here bookmark and bookmark and let's save it. And if you go back to your bookmark here, it exactly showed the result I just saved. So, so bookmark it if you want to save it for the later purposes and let's look at the graph view you can use graph view uh, to find new ideas when you want to make a value out of your notes with local graph view think about following questions while updating connection between news uh, between notes did you miss any interesting connection between notes or when you try to capture emerging ideas, did you find any interesting idea that you couldn't find while seeing notes separately? With these questions in mind, let me show you an example. While I was writing a script for this video, I wanted to find a way to synthesize notes better. So I opened up the local graph view. Let me know. Local graph view. Oh. And if you open up the filters, you can change the depth of notes. So it's set to one by default, but when you scale up, you can see 
uh, the notes that are connected to different notes. So you can find uh, unnoticeable ideas when you see notes separately. So when I go up to three, I was able to find uh, data question, which, which was connected to atomic notes. Then I realized that if we want to synthesize and place around notes better, we need to keep atomic notes instead of keeping a gigantic note. Why? Atomic notes are easier to understand and since you have single complete ideas so you can connect and make a bigger idea with other notes easily. Like this, you can find new ideas or make better ones with local graph view. And as a note, current limitation is local graph view doesn't indicate connection between notes through tags. Today, I cover about how to take advantage of graph in Obsidian. Unlike typical further structure, graph enables to synthesize ideas and knowledge through connection. I was able to find invaluable ideas and make endless content with graph. So try it today and let me know what you think about it in this in the comment. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.